The dollar store can be hit and miss for a lot of different items and I've made quite a few videos on things you should be buying at the Dollar Tree, things you should not be buying at the Dollar Tree. In today's video, we are going to cover food all food, the best food purchases you can buy from a money standpoint. And maybe a couple of things we should probably steer clear of. If you love the Dollar Tree or hate the Dollar Tree, <laughs> hook me up with a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And let's talk about all of the deals that you can find at your local Dollar Tree store. This list is in no particular order and I have done some cost comparisons for you. So let's start off with oatmeal. The plain quick oats comes in a one pound bag for of course a dollar. Everything from Dollar Tree at my store is one dollar only. Nothing costs more than that. I thought that was an amazing price. It is a good price, which comes to 6.25 cents per ounce. But if you go to Walmart and you buy the great value brand of the same quick oats, it comes in a 42 ounce container, which breaks down to 5.9 cents an ounce. Walmart actually wins on this one when it comes to off-brand, off-brand quick oats. However, the cost difference is so small that if you're at the Dollar Tree anyway, feel free to pick yourself up some oatmeal. Now, the only store I have seen that just blows these out of the water is Winco in the bulk bins. My store frequently has steel cut oats, whole rolled oats and quick oats all for 64 cents a pound mind blowing this next one is my absolute favorite it's got to be my favorite purchase at the dollar tree and it's the one pound bag of himalayan salt at walmart this exact same bag same brand same size is 398 four dollars at walmart versus one dollar at dollar tree for the exact same product pick this up buy stock in it, stockpile with it. This is an amazing deal. Please go to Dollar Tree and buy this item. Next up is the pure cane sugar. My dollar store has a two pound bag, which comes down to 3.125 cents per ounce compared to Walmart's four pound bag for $2.12. But you're comparing 3.1 cents an ounce versus 3.3 cents an ounce. Also so close that pick it up depending on what store you happen to be at and what's more convenient for you. The panko breadcrumbs at the Dollar Tree is a seven ounce container for an ingredient that will make your homemade fried chicken like really take it over the top. I love these breadcrumbs for any kind of home dipping, frying fish, shrimp, chicken. It's amazing, try it. It breaks down to 14.2 cents an ounce at Dollar Tree versus 14.5 cents an ounce at Walmart. It's a slightly bigger container at Walmart and slightly a couple extra pennies. Uh, so these are also very similar, but Dollar Tree does beat out Walmart in this case. It probably goes without saying that Dollar Tree is going to be less expensive than most regular grocery stores normal price. However, normal grocery stores run sales, which can beat the Dollar Tree prices on some items. So that is something to be aware of. And a perfect example of that is pasta. I have Dollar Tree at 4.1 cents an ounce and Walmart at 4.4 cents an ounce. That being said, a lot of grocery stores around me run sales on pasta, like off-brand pasta and even Barilla sometimes for 50 to 60 cents a pound, which can definitely be the better buy. So if there's no sales coming around and you need some pasta, Dollar Tree is gonna be the place to get it. One of the best deals that I found was the two pound bag of white rice and the two pound bag of brown rice. You will basically not find that price anywhere else unless you're buying really large containers like 25 pounds, 50 pounds of rice. And a lot of people don't want to store that much rice or don't even know how to use that much rice, honestly. For a two pound bag for a dollar versus Walmart's price of a two pound bag for a dollar 28, Dollar Tree is the clear winner on the rice. So if you see the brown rice and the white rice, the two pound bags, be sure to pick up a few of those spectacular deal. I love storing chicken broth in my house for just easy recipes. It's a nice staple to have on hand, which I covered in my Dollar Tree start a pantry on a budget video. I'll leave that down below. And you can do the cartons of liquid. It's 32 ounces for a dollar. Walmart's is a dollar 22. 
or you can do the little bouillon cubes. They are cheaper than Walmart. Now, I'm not gonna tell you to go get refrigerated milk at Dollar Tree, but what I am gonna tell you to do is get the shelf stable milk. It's perfectly fine and normal. A lot of countries actually use shelf stable ultra pasteurized milk because it doesn't go bad. It is $1 for one quart of milk. I've seen skim 1%, 2% and whole milk at my Dollar Trees. Walmart's prices on this shelf stable milk ranges from about 228 up to 247. Dollar Tree basically kicks everybody else's butt when it comes to the shelf stable milk. What I saw at mine was shelf stable almond milk as well. I saw unsweetened and sweetened vanilla and plain. That is an amazing price for almond milk, like completely amazing. I can get it a little bit cheaper if I get the refrigerated great value brand, but the shelf stable one obviously lasts way longer. So we're about at the halfway mark of this video and if you want to see other content like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I also want to say that all the prices I'm giving you today are my local Walmart, my local Dollar Tree, things that I found in September of 2021. Prices fluctuate everywhere. They fluctuate from location to location. So uh, your mileage may vary depending on where you live. What's awesome about the Dollar Tree is that it has some great deals. So what's bad about the Dollar Tree is that they cycle through the really good deals and sometimes they don't come back. When you go to Dollar Tree, this is just my reminder to you to keep your eyes open. Now I had made a list of all the items that I thought were gonna be a good deal at Dollar Tree, but while I was there, I found some extras that I hadn't seen before and I definitely wanted to show those to you. Okay, I'm gonna get a drink, so I'm a little parched right now. <laughs> Flavored water for the win. 36 ounces. I love me some water, man. Mm, peach flavor. It's an excellent year. Let's talk about the lemon juice and lime juice at the Dollar Tree. Of course, this is not like fresh squeezed from fresh, high quality bottled lemon or lime juice. But in a pinch, if you're gonna buy the lemon juice from Concentrate anyway from Walmart, definitely get it from Dollar Tree. It's gonna be two to three dollars at your Walmart, and a dollar tree, it's only a dollar. Now, that being said, they have a lime juice right next to it. Please do not buy the lime juice because it is a distorted disturbing shade of green. It kind of looks like the slime monster on Ghostbusters. Really green, like neon toxic green. I think if you drank it, it would turn you green. Please leave that one there. <laughs> Go get either limes with one of those guys because that will rock your world. If you have not been squeezing fresh lime juice into everything, your drinks, your tacos, your rice bowls, you need to do it. But if you wanna buy the bottled lime juice, don't get it at Dollar Tree. Please go somewhere else. Let's talk about a great deal, potato gnocchi. This is a dumpling type pasta made with potato and wheat, I believe, I'm double checking. Yeah, potatoes and wheat to make a potato-y dumpling pasta type of a thing. This is a dollar, obviously, at Dollar Tree. It's 17.6 ounces. The exact same size at Walmart, $1.88. Like almost double the price. So if you're into the gnocchi life, stock up at Dollar Tree. This is one of the best finds there. It's not my favorite pasta personally, but I do like to throw it into a soup as a chicken dumpling kind of a thing instead of a pasta thing. You can do what you want. That's what's great about cooking. It's your kitchen. Eat it however you want to. I did see some interesting seafood options this time when it came to the canned stuff. They normally had a large can of salmon and I didn't see it this time. So I was a little disappointed because I was like gonna be excited to tell you about the canned salmon. However, I saw a bunch of different stuff. The one that, the one that jumped out to me was the smoked oysters because my brother loves smoked oysters on crackers. I found the little tin for, yeah, a dollar. And I know at Walmart, it ranges from $1.23 up to $1.88, depending on the brand that you purchase. So you're definitely getting a better deal if you're into that smoked oyster life. Let's talk bread items. Now my Dollar Tree didn't have bread bread on the day that I went there, but they did have uh, pitas, they had some little like buttery crescent rolls that looked really delicious. And what I noticed was the bagels. They had plain and everything bagels. There's only four in here, so it makes it 25 cents a bagel. And most other places sell them six in a container. So if things are not on sale and you don't find clearance bagels and you're not at a bakery outlet, which I highly recommend you look for, just Google bakery outlet, you can get the six for like 88 cents to 99 cents. But anyway, the cheapest bagels at Walmart are the Lenders Plain, and they break down to 31 cents a bagel. So this is actually 
definitely cheaper. In fact, you can take your 25 cent bagel, add a cup of your Jif to go, which I also saw at Dollar Tree for 33 cents each because it came in a three pack, and you are looking at a 58 cent breakfast that will keep you full because of the protein and fat in here and satisfied because of the carbs in here that will definitely take you over like 450 calories for the breakfast. I personally love a toasted bagel with peanut butter, so this is a win in my book. I know a lot about this next topic <laughs> because I have been an extreme couponer. I have couponed for many a year. I check all of the sales cycles and what I can tell you is that cereal is something I know the prices of upside, downside, backwards and sideways. You can find deals at Dollar Tree on cereal. Not everything you need to know what to look for. The smaller containers, the name brand stuff, the things that are like, five ounces, four ounces, seven ounces, please walk by those. Those are not a deal. If you just wait for a sale at a grocery store, you can get a size box like this of the name brand stuff for about a dollar. And that's without even coupons these days. I saw that deal yesterday at my Albertsons. Cereal is 99 cents a box if you bought three. No coupons needed. Boom, done for name brand stuff. What you're looking for is 12 ounces or bigger. This is a 12 ounce box. This is the off brand of Apple Jacks. And I thought it would be fun to give it a try. See if it really tastes like Apple Jacks. It's not exactly like an Apple Jack, but it is close enough that it will pass. I would say the ones that are no good are the copycat life. That one's not any good. I don't like that one at all. But if you want to do some cereal, it's cheap, it's easy. It's 12 ounces. This is a big box of cereal for a buck. This is a goodie only some Dollar Trees have, but if yours has it, you have won the jackpot. These are bomb. I love these. They do have them at Costco and Amazon. I have not seen them at Sam's Club. I have not seen them at Walmart. Here is your cost breakdown. This is a 2.1 ounce bag. It's not very big, but it is only a dollar to purchase this same thing. On Amazon, it's $12.95. It is $1.17 per ounce. And this is a dollar for two ounces. Basically everywhere else is going to be double the price. I do know this goes on sale at Costco sometimes, but not all the time. So if you are a Costco lover and you're in the know, let us know in the comments, what is the sale price of the coconut rolls? And I'm assuming it's the 11 ounce bag, also the big one. The candy aisle is a hit and miss, honestly. If you're looking for like small little bags of chocolate and things like that, the Dollar Tree is not gonna be the place to get it. You'll get a cheaper per ounce at basically any other store for a larger bag. Their movie candy boxes can be a good deal, but Walmart still sells those for about 98 cents a box, so Walmart still wins. However, sometimes they have a fruity candy that is a one pound bag for a dollar. Andrew and I have done a taste test on this candy and it's delicious. This has to be a new item. I was walking by all the snacks. Moon pies. Oh my gosh, I couldn't believe this. And I know that these are a deal. I can barely find these anywhere. My Walmart does not carry them, but you can find them on Amazon for $3 a box, $3 for one of this. They actually sell it in a three pack for 9.50 or something like that with subscribe and save. I found vanilla and chocolate and yeah, they're already open because my kids dried them. <laughs> they have an amazing variety of really large full size snacks between Lay's stacked chips, the Lay's stacks are $1.24 at my Walmart and $1 at Dollar Tree. This is an amazing find and they have a lot of flavors to pick from. The barbecue's the best. Yeah, I said it, barbecue's the best. This is one of my favorite things at Dollar Tree, seriously, is the pretzels. Now you can get the, the penny, penny saver pretzels, which is a pretty good deal. It's a dollar for 12 ounces. However, if you're into that name brand, Snyder's, I see you, these honey wheat ones, are money. They are delicious. They have these square ones, you know, at the holidays when you put the Rolo on top and you stick it in the oven and you squish it with a pecan, Christmas cookie, kind of a treat thing. A buck, can you believe it? Now Walmart mostly only has the 16 ounce bag of the Snyders for $3. So even if you cut it in half into eight ounces, it would be a smaller bag than this for $1.50. So this at a buck is such a score. And going along with our pretzel theme, don't forget, the holidays are coming to get your pretzel rods from the Dollar Tree. You know, when you like melt the chocolate and you dip these in the chocolate and you put like Christmas sprinkles on top for parties and things like that. Yeah, that's right. These are gonna be $3 anywhere else. And honestly, when it gets closer to Christmas, 
You can't even find the dang pretzel rods anymore because everyone else has already taken them. Okay, you know how I said that sometimes you stumble across things? I was looking in the refrigerated section. Uh, they didn't have what I was looking for, but what I did find was the Collider's desserts. My Walmart, $2.29. I could not believe it was there. This is less than half price, and it's a fun little dessert. It's basically a pudding with some mix-ins. So this one's like a peanut butter pudding with chocolate mix-ins. It's supposed to taste like a Reese's cup. Great deal, nice little treat. I found... <laughs> I'm not kidding. I found these stir fry noodles at Dollar Tree on the bottom shelf, like tucked behind stuff. It is $2.98 at Walmart for this exact item. The same brand, the same size, the same, like it's this. This is so great. This is such a fast meal. Some veggies, some sauce, it together. Boom, easy lunch. So excited to find this. I bought several. <laughs> I found canned roasted red peppers. Now this is a smaller jar than Walmart. They have, Walmart has it like a 16 ounce jar for three bucks. And this is a 10 ounce jar for a dollar, but that still kicks the pants off of Walmart's price. So I got two of these. I love to mix these with like turkey and broccoli with a little bit of cream cheese, a little bit of Italian dressing, heat it up a little bit, wrap it in a tortilla. It is a delicious lunch. Like I'm telling you, it's amazing. Now I don't know that this is the best, price for something, but it is a Dollar Tree food item that is delicioso and you need to go try it. Now, I know you're probably like suspicious of Dollar Tree food. This Jennifer's Garden spring rolls are legit. You get these and cook them up in your air fryer and you will be loving life. I have fed them to my entire family. They adore these. They're so good. Just before you hate, before you judge, just go try them and then come back and tell me what you think. I will have the entire list of everything that I found that I thought was a good price at my Dollar Tree listed down below for you. You can go check it out, make your own shopping list if you would like to do that. If there are some food items that your dollar store has that I did not pick up this time, let me know what it is down below so I can go take a look at my store and see if I can find some more goodies. Thanks for hanging out with me today. And I think I'm gonna go eat some of these delicious pretzels. See ya.